Our guest this week is Adrian McIntyre, a West Otago mixed grain and sheep farmer at Merino Downs. He's also on the Otago Fish and Game Council and a keen hunter looking forward to the opening of the duck shooting season this weekend. This, this is my Christmas time. This, this is my big thing. Uh, we have about 18 guns that shoot on the farm quite regularly. Um, we've got a large amount of ducks. We've got a lot of ponds that I've put built over the years. Um, things are looking really good. There's a lot of ducks on the ponds this year. Um, and with the late harvest that's been happening in West Otago over the last six weeks, um, the ducks have certainly built up in certain areas. Yes, why is that? Last year, duck shooters would have found that the harvest was done, farmers put it in the silos, they regrassed their paddocks, re sowed their paddocks, so the, fo- the food source for the ducks disappeared in a very short time. This year, farmers with the weather patterns are struggling to finish their harvest and are struggling to re-sow and grass their paddocks. So that gives the ducks time to build up in certain areas around stubble paddocks, flat grain, grain that's not even harvested, and the ducks are now mobbing up, and they are in quite large mobs, which will keep them in here for the hunters on Saturday. They're on the paddocks, are they? Feasting. So does this mean you haven't been feeding out on your wetlands? They're on the paddocks feasting, yeah, and a lot of the, the stubble paddocks have been burnt and not re so that means the ducks can actually get to the burnt and the grain lying on the ground easier. Ducks are very much opportunists. If you give them a food source, they will go to it and go to it and keep going to it. So the easier it is, the more they like it, the more they get together, the bigger the mobs. So does this mean you haven't been feeding out on your wetlands? (laughs) (laughs) No, no, and I probably shouldn't say that because I sell grain to, because I'm a grain farmer, I sell it to duck shitters. But, um, But no, we haven't had to. And to be honest, I think shooters probably disturb their ponds a little bit too much. The less you disturb your ponds, the better the ducks like it. So they they like a nice, quiet spot. They've eaten grain all night or all afternoon. They want to come back, sleep and be left alone. What are some of the traditions that you have? Well, traditions is that we all get to, we all come. We all get here at about half past five in the morning. Everybody comes, dogs come out. Everybody gets organised as a mad panic to get down in various places with vehicles to get to your ponds. Um, I am very lucky that my kids and my grandchild come along and we have, my friends also have children, so we have quite a group of younger shooters, which which for us old guys like I am now is, is really quite good. It doesn't really matter whether we get 10 ducks or we get 100 ducks. It's, it's the event. It's getting out there and doing it. And what's the weather looking like for the weekend? Uh, according to the, the theory, and I've got about three different apps that I use, it's going to be fresh westerlies, which I think is going to be quite good. A nice breeze moves the decoys around. Um, I don't really want it to rain really hard, otherwise a lot of our shooters will go home early, you know, go watch the rugby or their kids. But if it's, if it's reasonably warm in the Mai Mai and there's wind, moves the decoys, keeps the ducks working to fly against the wind, then the shooters will stay there and we'll have a good harvest. Now, what is the key to bagging lots of birds, in your view? The key is go to the ducks. Don't expect the ducks to come to you. A lot of our hunters have had the same Mai Mai set up for the last 50 years. Change whatever the ducks, wherever the ducks land or are doing whatever the duck's doing, whether it's with a caller or with a deck chair with a camo net, go to where the ducks are coming in. Don't expect them to fold up nicely in front of your Mai Mai. You've got lots of kids, you say, around at duck shooting time and in the Mai Mai. What are your tips for keeping children in particular safe? It's basically treating them respect for firearms. And I mean, a lot of our kids in the Mai Mai have started with 410, but that does not necessarily mean that they've had ammo in those guns. They've, they've got to know how to use them. They've got to know how to present them and what a group of people expects you to do with firearms. So when the shooting comes along, because the ammo's in my pocket and I put a bunch on their gun, they know the safe direction, they know the rules, and they know what the rest of the group thinks they should do. And it's all about being part of the group and a standard and having fun. 
Um, and chocolate goes a long way. What do you say to those people who would like to see duck shooting banned, as it is in some Australian states? Uh, they fear that some ducks are not being killed instantly and left to suffer. I harvest everything on this farm as ethically and as humanely as possible, whether it's my sheep, my cattle, um, the our lambs. I'm a hunter, I deer hunt, I harvest everything, I shoot to reduce pain as much as possible. Um, ducks, hunters have got to realise the range that they can shoot. They've got to keep ducks in close because we are now using steel. Um, and I think there are people out there that are against farming. There are people out there that are against dairy farming. There are people out there that are probably against reporters reporting in newspapers. They, they can have their opinion, but duck shooting for a large part of Southland and Otago is... An amazing event. We have families coming from all over New Zealand, Australia, to be with their family on a day, one or two days a year. That's almost in the same level as Christmas. And we don't have a lot of those left. So we need to appreciate it. And yes, ducks die, but then if we left them alone and we didn't harvest them, they would be poisoned or they would die of starvation. But as long as hunters use the meat and give it away or share it to their friends and family, the duck sacrifice is, is well worth it. Adrian McIntyre. He says his small grandson has his own camo gear, earmuffs and glasses at the ready to take part in his first shoot.